Hey you guys, it's your girl T. So I wanted to come on here and talk about this really disturbing case and it seems like it's starting to be a trend now. So if you guys don't know what that trend is, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about it. So we have a case that's coming from our first favorite state, Ratchet Ass Florida, okay? So what's going down in Ratchet Florida, you ask? What's going down is that we have a 14 year old girl. Her name is Nakia V. Ant and basically she took to Facebook Live she tied up a scarf on the top of her bathtub, on the railing on the bathtub, and she basically hung herself in front of all of her friends on Facebook Live. And her foster parents were in the bedroom sleeping. By the time they were reached by phone and they went in to go check on her, she was not able to be revived and she ended up passing away. This situation is really disturbing. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a news clip. Check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. After a teenager killed herself in the home of her foster parents and she apparently wanted others to witness her suicide since she streamed it on social media. CBS 4's Carrie Codd is live in Plantation where the girl's biological mother just spoke about the tragedy. Carrie? Elliot, this is a complicated case, and this girl's mother just shared her story with us here at her attorney's office. The mother told us that she lost custody of her daughter, Naika Vanant, several years ago and was reunited with her daughter, then lost her again. And early Sunday morning, this mother experienced the pain that no parent should ever have to. Early Sunday morning, according to the Florida Department of Children and Families, 14-year-old Naika Vanant logged into Facebook Live and committed suicide while at a foster home in Miami Gardens. I am sick and devastated by this tragedy. Naika's biological mom, Gina Alexis, spoke about her daughter's death. I have trusted Florida off the care people to care for my baby. Instead, she kills herself on Facebook. Attorney Howard Talenfeld is representing Gina Alexis. He says Naika was first removed from her mother's care at the age of seven over allegations of corporal punishment. Talenfeld says Naika was then abused in foster care. And it was determined that Naika was sexually abused by a 14-year-old foster boy while in care, while she was seven years old. Talenfeld says this child was Baker acted and determined to be in need of significant mental health counseling that Talenfeld says she never got. She did not receive the level and quality of intensive services that she needed. She told the world, she spoke to the world in the way she left this world about the terrible failures in our foster care system. Talenfeld says Naika was returned to her mother's care in 2014, but two years later when mom tried to discipline her daughter, Naika ran away. Then on Sunday, this child ended her life in a very public way. DCF Secretary Mike Carroll sent us this statement. We are absolutely horrified and devastated by the news of this young girl's death. We will do everything we can to support this family and all those who cared for her as they begin to heal from this tragedy. We will conduct a comprehensive, multidisciplinary special review to examine this child's history and the circumstances related to serving this child. Miami Gardens Police is investigating the case. Gina Alexis wants answers and says these pictures of her daughter show the thing her daughter loved the most. She loved to smile. Now, the attorney for Naika's mom tells us they've not yet filed a lawsuit, but they continue to investigate the circumstances of Naika's All right, so you guys just watched that news clip. So now, if that's not crazy enough, out here in crazy California, we have a young man. He was an actor out here in North Hollywood. His name is Frederick J. Baldry, and basically, he also killed himself on Facebook Live. They're saying that he was facing sexual assault charges. He had just been arrested um, a few days before this, and he took to Facebook Live. He was talking to his friends as usual and then he just killed himself they're not stating how he killed himself i don't know if he hung himself if he you know shot himself the media is not stating how he killed himself but they're saying that he did kill himself on facebook live now if that's not disturbing enough down in ghetto ass georgia we have a 12 year old girl this was back on december 30th um the video ended up getting posted online i don't know who posted the video online but the video ended up going viral and the video shows a 12 year old girl her name is caitlin nicole davis and when I tell y'all, this is probably one of the most heart-wrenching videos I've watched. And I could only watch so much of it when she got ready to take her life. I just couldn't handle it. But it was just so hard to sit here and listen to this girl's cry for help. 
break down and it's just like where are people to you know is anybody not calling her mom where's her dad she's in some forest it was just so heart-wrenching and the girl ends up hanging herself on a tree and so I fast forwarded the part when she got ready when she said bye I fast forward that and then at the end you can hear her cell phone ringing and it's her mom calling her her mom had just missed her literally by just a few minutes she had just killed herself and then the mom caught the cell phone Whew, it was just really, really heart-wrenching. Hello, this is Dolly. Meet 12-year-old Caitlin Davis. This is one of a series of video blogs the preteen posted on social media. I really can't do this stuff anymore. I really can't do it. But others are too frightening to share, including a 40-minute live video she set up with a cell phone of her suicide. Police in her Georgia town have been urging Facebook users to stop sharing the video, which continues to roll for about 20 minutes after Caitlin hanged herself. The investigation into her death has now shifted to probing what could have led to her taking her own life, the Polk Standard Journal reports. Caitlin's posted several online diary entries under the pseudonym Dolly, admitting she suffered from depression and claiming a male relative tried to rape her. The school district said it had no records indicating Caitlin asked for help. The assistant superintendent telling InsideEdition.com, we didn't have anything that would tip us at school that this might be an occurrence. At this time, no criminal charges have been filed in connection with Caitlin's death. No one cares about me. You know, I don't understand what's going on. I don't know if this is a trend now that we can do things live. We've seen people get shot on Facebook Live, you know, but now people are committing suicide on Facebook Live. And a few people are saying that, you know what, this is the behavior of a narcissist, you know, people who feel like, you know, they want to get attention any way possible, so they're doing this live. This is not the first time that it's happened. I mean, when I first started YouTube back in 2008, there was a young black man who had killed himself on a live chat room. I forgot what the chat room was called, but I remember that caused a lot of controversy. To me, people need to realize that the Depression is real and mental illness is real and when people say that they're depressed about something don't just brush it off don't just say you know get better you know try to help them try and seek help for them the other little girl down in Florida she had to been crying out long before she decided to jump on top of her bathtub and take her life you know so the whole situation is just really sad you know as far as the older gentleman who killed himself in North Hollywood I don't know him and I don't know if it's because of that sexual assault case woman over his head that he was just you know over it and he was just really really sad and depressed but rest in peace to these people I feel really bad for them but I really really hope that this does not become a trend if you are depressed if you are going through something seek help get help talk to somebody about it just know that you're not alone it does get better you guys know I've talked about this in the past you know I suffer from really bad depression and hell I still suffer from depression and people who know me know that every day is a struggle for me some days are good some days are bad but I just try and balance it out as much as I can you know what I'm saying and so there's a way to get over it but you just got to know what your triggers are and know to stay away from those things that trigger you to make you really really depressed and sad so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire disturbing situation of people committing suicide on Facebook Live. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.